Population of mainland Iceland is around 400,000 people, but did you know that there is another piece of land which almost nobody talks about? Vesmanair, a mini version of Iceland with population just a bit over 4,000 people, and I used to live there. So as I come back to Iceland for a couple of days, I decided to visit place I used to call home for nearly two and a half years. Early bus from Reykjavik, two and a half hours, and here I am in the port waiting for the ferry towards Vestmanair. I just arrived to Landehofen, which is in south part of Iceland, and that's a port where you can get a ferry towards Vestmanair. So guys, if you don't hold a driving license and you still want to get away from Reykjavik and you don't want to go with the group tours, you can easily get to Landehofen port just by taking a bus. All you have to do is go to the Miot station, I'll put the name up here, and uh, every single morning you have to get a bus, drive two and a half hours, then you will stop by Landehofen. I have two hours until the ferry, so I just want to go to the beach. This car looks a little bit abandoned. Yeah. <laughs> what a car! Jeep, you see? If you want to get a car, there is it. There is not so many places in the world where you can see black sand beach. That's what you can see in Landehofen port. I can see the ferry coming from Westmanair. It takes half an hour for ferry to come from one side to another side. Welcome on board guys. We are on a ferry Herio 4 third. Ticket price for every single person is 2000 krona, but if you live in Westmanair, you're getting 50% off. So actually, as I used to be a resident of Westmanair, and I'm kind of still am resident of Westmanair, I'm having a discount of uh, 50%. Ocean is pretty calm today, no waves, so nobody will get sick sick. There is a couple of tourists, they're getting worried that it might be rough. <laughs> On your way you will see the Vol Westmanair archipelago, which consists of 16 islands, with the main one Heimae, the rest are uninhabited. I remember I was on that island, and I remember I was on top of it, sitting just on top of it. Home, sweet home. I can't believe I'm again here. That's my place where I used to work. Actually, I will come here right now to the office to see people. Westmanair, welcome. Welcome back to crazy Westmanair, the little tiny island in the middle of nowhere. That's where I am again. And I used to live here two and a half years, imagine that. Prices for hostels and hotels in Westmanair are more expensive than in Reykjavik. Because it's a tiny island, there is not much of choice where you want to stay. So there's like a capsule hostel, which is 50 US dollars per night. That's the cheapest one. Other than that, from 100 US dollars per night, which is pretty damn expensive. Uh, name of the mountain actually is Heimakvetur. Let's go and I will show you the island. On the island you will see a lot of fish factories. So that's the fish factory I used to work in. All around the island you might see some parts of the history in a frame, so you can like read it. Those banners are mostly about uh, fishing history and the history of the island, how it grew up. This car 
is Michael's car. I think so, the only one black guy on the island. I used to come here every day and work. Hey, this. Hey. <laughs> Remember? Remember me? Yeah. Eric. Ah. Eric. Yeah, hi. Yeah, hi. How are hi. you? How are no, you? You're good. How are you? No? How are you? Huh? Good. Fine. How are you? Sorry. Say hello. Oh, but we shall be The widow guy just swallowed his teeth. The first teeth. Uh, West Maner is a tiny place. The community is very small. It's just 4,000 people. So you literally don't close the doors at home. You don't close your cars. People are in the safest environment which I ever seen. This is the safest place which I ever seen. Because if something happens on the island, the island is so tiny, everybody knows about what happened, like literally tomorrow. Let's say you stole something, like, or let's say you did something bad inside the bar or something like that. Let's say this, and uh, tomorrow everybody will know about it. And tomorrow you will have no life here because people will know that you did that and you will just need to leave the island because the community is pretty small and everybody is nice to each other. That's what I love about Westmaner. That's why for me Westmaner feels like at home. Main street is like, I don't know, 200 meters. That's it. <laughs> uh, a few bars. That's the main street. Uh, one bar, another bar, another bar, another restaurant and a hostel, and that's it. The view, guys, the view is just incredible. Look, every single day you can wake up with such view. Island has almost everything what you need. Hostels, hotels, uh, shops, hospital, school, gym, um, factories, work. So now we approach the main pub in Westmaner, which is the original Puffins bar. Puffin in Icelandic is Lundin. So the bar's name is Lundin. I think so even through the camera you can see how quiet it is. You can literally, it's so quiet, you can literally walk in the middle of the road and nobody is passing because there is almost no people. 4,000 people. That's a hospital. But if you need to do some surgery, then this hospital not gonna help you. You will need to probably fly towards uh, Reykjavik. The street I used to live in. I even remember the name of the street. So... And the right way is Kirkjubaibraut. That's how Icelandic people pronounce the uh, name of the street. Kirkjubaibraut, which is actually a legendary street and a legendary place. I will tell you why, just right now. That's the place I used to live in. Arnar, owner of the place, he's supposed to actually come outside. So I need to say hello to him. Probably I'm gonna knock at the door. Somebody's coming. The Arnar is coming. Hi. Hey. How are you? How are you? Fine, thank you. Good? That's how it is. People all around and you know them. Oh. Best way how to explain what happened here and actually what this banner is about is uh, by owner itself telling a short story. So what happened? Ah, it was eruption. Eruption. Eruption happened in 1973. Three. Three. In the night of 23rd of January 1973. Then just few hundred yards from here it starts and uh, we have to evacuate all the people from the island uh, nearly everyone and it was around 5,000 people who left that night to the mainland and after a while some of men came back to try to rescue what was possible and rescue like, what? Uh, houses, oh, the houses. Houses and things like uh, 
things from the companies because the, the machines and so on, they did put them up in the mainland again to start producing. But like you see here on the picture, it was eight. Uh, this was the house. Before eruption? Yes, and this man did live here then. He came after the eruption, he stand here on the roof. Ah, oh, that's the same man? Yes. Actually, I didn't realize that when I was living here. I never saw the man here. Yes. Really? That's yeah. the... So he was the owner of the house? Yes. In the, yes. And now he's staying on top of the house after eruption. Yes. When all the ash and lava came down. Yes. And so this lava is actually from the newest eruption, which was like 40 years ago. Yes. Uh, and the grass is... This is the height of the ash. This one? Yes. That's so this the is the ash? This is the ash and the lava on top. Because before that, you had some more houses. Yes, there. lots of houses. Lots of houses yes. down there. So yes. and in this direction. How crazy houses. is that? How many houses? 400. 400 houses were located just on my back. And now you see it's just a little mountain. Doesn't look like there were some houses, but now... After the eruption, it looks like this. And then uh, a free measure lot bought it from the, go the government to buy all the houses. So yes. that's a... a Freemason uh, uh, shield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, you see the Freemason mm -hmm. here. They did bought it, but, and you see here, here is the Freemason logo. Mm -hmm. But now you don't have it? No, I did. Bring it. Freemason lots and turn it into, into the house. residence again. Yep. And people from Europe, the tourists, they come here and ask me, one of many came and asked me, are you not afraid of living here? Do the government pay you to live here? And I said, no, where are you from? Germany, he said. Look, I said, last 100 years, it has been two world wars in <laughs> Europe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You have uh, uh, terrorist attacks, you have pollution, you have... Uh, nuclear plants and yeah. so on. And here is just a tiny eruption. Yes, here one man have died from an eruption <laughs> in last 100 years. By the way, you had another eruption right now, like uh, a couple of months ago, isn't it? Yes. And uh, people actually waiting for some eruption close to Elif. Yeah, yes, yes. They're waiting for it yes. because Cut. it happens every 100 years. No, yeah, yeah, uh, up around every 100 years. Uh, so and now it's already 102 years or something? Yeah, 105 years, yes. And when it will happen, people were comparing to the size of like A of like the... Yes. the and uh, it looks like this eruption might be bigger, way bigger. Yes, it's way bigger. And So it, it might happen like anytime soon? Yes. And, and when it will happen again, no... No flight. No flights, a lot of ash, crazy yes. views. Yes. Many tourists trying to go by ferries to Iceland and yes, look at this. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yes. And uh, it's another volcano next to that. Mm -hmm. it, it erupts every five, six, seven hundred years. Last time it erupts, it completely destroyed whole uh, part of Iceland. Lot of people died. It's, it has same nature that volcano as Vesuvius, which destroy Pompeii. So okay, and when it erupted last time? It was 1300. So, and you say it erupts every 500, 600 years? Yeah, 500, 600, 700 So years. it might erupt again yes, soon? Yes, yes. So we might live in a pretty interesting decade, I would yes, say. But it might be interesting years but, happening in Iceland. But all the time, you could not fly in Europe. Yeah. We could fly Away. every day to this island. Even the volcano is 20 kilometers from here. Are the still flights will be from Westmanair to Reykjavik? Yes. Uh -huh. Because they are so powerful, the ash goes up to 10, 15,000 feet, and nearly no ash here. It all blown goes to, away. To, to the higher winds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. That's why people were telling, I think, so flights in, in between Iceland and everything when in 2010 eruption yes. happened. Flights here were happening, everything was fine. Yes. Well, it, it just like in Europe yes, was closed. Yes, yes, because <laughs> so the, you will the, fuck the, up the Europe yes, again. <laughs> the, the ash was smelling. <laughs> we have good life here. Yeah. 1890, it was bigger eruption here. 
mm-hmm. and it was so much ash in the in the sky, in the sky yeah. uh, it get colder in Europe. I think two or three degrees colder. So it was no crop, no 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 food for no the vegetables, people. Yeah, probably. Yes. Uh-huh. So the the French Revolution start after that because people were starving. So we start revolutions here also. Crazy. Mr. Arner knows a lot about history of Iceland and things which happened here in the Iceland, in Westmanner, in Heimei, everywhere. He's the guy. <laughs> He's the guy. Yeah. See you. See you, Diane. We're gonna go further right now. It was actually so nice meeting my <laughs> my old friend because he is not just my landlord. He is actually my friend. So it was so nice meeting him. And uh, yeah, so that's where I used to live. Such an incredible place, Westman Aries. <sighs> Life is good, guys. Life is good. That's another volcano which erupted a long, long time ago. Fuck! My ferry is arriving! Oh my god! <laughs> I need to run! <laughs> I'm here! At least now you have a little first impression of the island itself. I used to call this island a little mini version of Iceland. It has almost everything a part of waterfalls. Other than that, they have everything. They have moss, they have lupines, they have volcanoes, active volcanoes. They have almost fjords, mountains, cliffs, puffins, Icelandic weather. They have everything. Like, and the life is actually cheaper and economy is better here. It's still part of Iceland, but it's a little, little community. That's why everything is so good here. Can you, can you guess what's that? So this, this used to be a swimming pool. You see? And you see lava? Full of lava, yeah? So let's come up here and see. That's how it looked before. Now, it's just part of the memory. This is the only one and the first one Black Church in Iceland. The church was gifted by Norwegian authorities in memory of 1000 years of Christianity, so it was gifted to Iceland. As I used to live here before, I did explore touristic bits of the island back in the days and I have some footage from it as well, so if you would love to see, just leave your comments down below and I might make a specific video showing the most beautiful places around Westmanair. But for this episode, that's all I got. It was mainly to showcase the local life of Icelanders and hear some stories. So I'm saying goodbye to Iceland for now and I'm flying back to my country for a couple of days. Next time I will show you for sure a lot more of Iceland, but for now that's it. Subscribe to the channel, like this video and I see you in the next one. Bye!